All right, here I am at a node. I got the level set up like it should be. And as you can see, from up high, the highest frequencies, it kind of rolls off nicely down to the bottom. Got a couple of gaps there where we don't have any channels and we got our OFDM carrier in there. But for the most part, it's pretty smooth all the way through. Um, so what our sweep is going to do, it's going to save this kind of exactly how it is. It's going to know where the level amplitude of every channel is all the way across the whole spectrum. It's going to save that, reference it to a zero, so it's easier for me uh, as I go amplifier to amplifier towards the customer to know where I am losing signal at because um, I can't remember exactly how this looks and where everything is all the way across the whole spectrum. I can't remember all 150 some channels and what amplitude they were at. So that's why this will reference it to a zero. So I'll uh, get into sweep here and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to use the sweepless sweep and what the sweepless sweep does is pick up on the forward uh, Guam carriers and uses those as a sweep reference. Um, versus traditional sweep, there's actually sweep points injected into the downstream signal just for sweeping. Um, but sometimes it's not really maintained that well in our system over here and they jump around a lot. So I like to use the downstream signal um, as my sweep reference because I think it's a, a lot more accurate. Uh, it doesn't quite cover quite as much range, but it does cover the range that we're actually using. So this is what it looks like. It goes from like channel 2, clear down here would be close to 12. And it goes up and some of the higher frequencies would be about 25. Um, this high peak up here, we actually don't have anything over here. But right where it's flat, it's kind of where we have some signal at. That would be around channel 150, 151. Our highest channel goes up to 153 in here. And I'm sitting about 25. Um, I could never remember how this is, so here's what we do. We go to the reference tab, we're going to stop it, configure, save it, set as a reference, save, overwrite, and it's going to remember everything that that was and set it at a zero plane so I can remember and be able to identify any changes from here to the next amp to the next amp to the next amp. It'll let me know if, uh, you know, let's say a channel in the middle was a little bit low, it would be low um, on the reading here at that amplifier that I get to. Because every amplifier, um, you're supposed to have pretty linear signal going in, and the amplifier, we equalize it so it's flat, and then it amplifies it um, and tilts it, you know, roughly 13, 14 decibels and sends it back out. So anytime we have suck outs or channel, channels rolling off, it's gonna be something wrong on the plant or an amplifier that's got something funny going on with it. So I'm gonna save this reference here and then we'll go to the next amplifier and see how that looks. All right, so when we get to the next amplifier, you have to calculate the cable loss between the node and the first amplifier. And you need to make sure that you have the proper signal getting to the amplifier. If your signal is low, then you have something wrong and you need to go back and fix it. So this one, um, math calculates that I need to have 24 coming in on my high band. Uh, notice I have 5 and my low band is calculated to be 18, I have negative 1. Um, what I didn't tell you guys was uh, that all of these amplifiers in Node have a 20 decibel test point. Um, so what they do is they put in a DC 20 so you have to add 20 to the reading you get there. So when I read 5 I'm actually reading 25. When I'm reading negative 1 I'm actually reading 19. So the level coming in here is actually what it's supposed to be. On the output of the node uh, that I left, channel 2 on the lowest frequency, I was reading a 12 but if you add 20 that's 32. High band was at 25 on channel 150 so 25 plus 20 gives you 45. So we put everything in context here. So everything at this amp, uh, we're getting good signal coming in, which means there's nothing too damaged in between. Only a sweep will tell us that all the all the levels across the whole spectrum are coming in as they should and not losing anything on just certain channels. 
And uh, so let me set up the output of this amp and make sure the output looks like it's nice and uh, linear like the uh, node was. All right, now that I got this amp set up, if you look here, there's the zero plane. And otherwise it's pretty flat. This thing comes in and out on every single node we do, so don't worry about that. But the little anomalies here and then the little one right there that kind of dips down. Um, that's something going on in the plant, uh, losing us about a decibel right there. Uh, this high one on the here, uh, there's actually no signal right there, so this thing just picks up on weird anomalies. Um, but this could be a concern, um, especially when you go several amplifiers deep. This is only going to get worse as each amplifier uh, is going to kind of amplify that uh, impairment. And it's going to get worse and worse. So ideally you want this flat across the line, which means this would match exactly what I had at the node. Um, could go back and fix this, but uh, this runs only one amplifier deep and it ends, so it's not a big deal. So, um, you know, four or five amplifiers deep, it would probably look pretty ugly. Um, but one deep, I'm not going to go track down a bunch of stuff and tear stuff apart for one decibel there. Um, but essentially, in a nutshell, this is what sweeping is. We go to each amplifier, verify they each have the proper input signal to verify that something's not wrong in between the last amp to this amp and then we set it up and make sure that it's outputting a nice flat response so this is a direct representation of this let me show you all right so what this shows here is that this pretty much perfectly matches what the node looks like and maybe about right there is maybe where that little signal dips a little bit I mean it's not even noticeable in this kind of view um, when we sweep, it's zoomed in ultra close and we can see the difference on things like this. So, yeah, issue here I gotta track out as well. But, um, you know, essentially you're making sure this stays just as it was at the node and you want to carry that on every amplifier and sweep enables us to see minor perfections when it zeroes it out and it's zoomed in and we can track that through all the amplifiers when we set everything up. So this is essentially what your, what your uh, maintenance guy is doing when he's sweeping uh, the plant to your customer.